Welcome back to Keto. It's truly a shame. Today we're going to adjust fire on our potassium count with the cocoa bar. That kind of overestimated milligrams. We'll fix that. And uh, I'm going to try and uh, take it easy on the meat. Today I think I'm going to go into Popeye mode and get some milligrams via the spinach. Let's see how it goes. Welcome fire. So with chocolate bar grams. I was counting a 100 gram bar at 1,524 milligrams of potassium. It's only 715 milligrams. Still an extremely high source of potassium. So I just gotta adjust my count. So let's move on. Alright, I'm all finished with my GPP workout for the day. I got the plan. I'm gonna get to the grocery store and get to shopping for some keto food. Let's go. Oh, love this mayo. I'm gonna use mayo, that's what I'm using. But I'm trying to cut, so we're staying away from the mayo. That is way too many calories. Alright. Grocery shopping done. We're heading out and get these uh, spinach washed up, get everything calculated, and get to eating. I'm getting hungry. All right. First up, I've got three cans of tuna in oil. That comes out to 342 grams of tuna. It's going to bring me 1138 milligrams of potassium. I picked up three different bags of spinach. Each bag weighs 200 grams, but after I cut off the stems and get it all cleaned up, each bag is gonna come out to 130 grams of spinach, okay? So all together, I'm gonna eat 390 grams of spinach, which is gonna give me 2,176 milligrams of potassium and I hooked myself up with some salmon, oh yeah, that's 180 grams of salmon, which is going to give me 772 milligrams of potassium, plus I had my breakfast at Cocoa Bar at 715 milligrams, mm -hmm. which is going to bring my total count of potassium for today to 4,800 and 1.52 milligrams, all right? We'll break down the calories and all that fun stuff later. Let me get busy eating this food. All right, out. One quick thing, uh, my calories, been a little, well, they've been way high. So I'm trying to keep it down. So I will not be adding peanut butter or mayo to my spinach. Peanut butter? Yeah, I love peanut butter, if you didn't know. Anyway. I've got this vinegar here, zero I'm calories, let me see if you can see that, zero, just straight up vinegar. I'm going to drown my spinach in vinegar to get it down to do what I got to do. I'm going into Popeye mode. Wish me luck, I'll tell you how it goes. What does 390 grams of spinach look like? That's, that's what it looks like. Wish me luck. Good little money. Going into Popeye mode. The spinach is done. I just ate 390 grams of spinach. Check it out. All gone. And all I used to flavor it was this vinegar. Zero calories. Raw spinach. 390 grams of spinach raw. Done. Let's move on. I still have the tuna and the salmon left to go. Huh? We're gonna wait for that. <laughs> I need a break. That's what it is. Always a good stuff. 35. 
That brings us to the potassium tracker for the day. Our cocoa bar, spinach, tuna, and salmon all add up to 4,801.52 milligrams of potassium, which means we made our mark of 4,700 milligrams, which is the RDA. Let's move on. All right, let's break down those calories. All about the macros here. Okay. Today's goal was to keep it light on the meat. I still threw in some meat, but it turns out it was light on the fat, which is good because that brought our calories down. Look at the total calories for the day. 1,606.4. That is awesome. I would love to keep my numbers right around there. All right. Before we wrap this video up, it is important to mention that yes, five days in, Finally, I hit all three dietary goals. I made my protein marks, I kept my calories below 2250, and I hit my potassium. All right, let's move on. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell.